Okay, we have kind of a four-sided pyramid here with flat top. This hole goes all the way through because it does not show us the bottom extent of the hole. We have a notch that goes all the way through because we don't see the back of that. And it is one full unit tall from the primary view right here. And then this one on the side is one half unit tall. So that's going to cause these hidden lines right here to show that they're not the same height. We do have an edge in the front view right here that shows the end of the flat surface and the beginning of the inclined plane. And then we have these edges in the top and that gathers all those inclined planes together to the flat top surface. And the hidden lines coming out from those are for those cuts and they get kind of just overridden by the hidden lines for a little while and then they continue on through. And right here, This should not, this should just go on beyond the circular object if it touches or goes past a, if it goes on top of a visible line because of its, its proximity to that visible line, make sure that it extends a little bit beyond that visible line so that you can see that it's not geometry. It's just the size of these crosshairs. So one thing that I wanted to talk about over here is this hole, only, it only goes to right there. It does not go down beyond this point right here. So that's why those hidden lines stop right there. Therefore, I would bring this hidden, the center mark down and stop it just before this notch of this geometry and not go beyond that geometry. So I'm going to write down correction on this. Just to clarify, because when we're trying to teach this, it's when things are a little bit cloudy, it makes it hard for, it would make it hard for me as a learner to understand. 